So last year I fit 37 people through our Miracle Air Foundation. Um, and I will say that in the beginning it was like, okay, I've got a lot of foundation people coming in. I'm gonna run with this and see how many people that I can help. So it was almost like a personal goal that I just wanted to accomplish and be able to help as many people as I could. If I had more time, I could have got a lot more, but we did really well. It's it's just like clockwork or like a fine-tuned machine, really. It's just like we finish each other's sentences. We know each other so well. You know, it's just, we work really well together. Uh, Melinda and I have been working together now for about four years. She's a great partner to have. Um, I was raised by my, my grandmother and, you know, it was always struggling to make ends meet and things like that. Different. Uh, programs in the community were always helping us and I just remember how awesome that was and how great that felt that someone cared you know I really connect with these people when they tell me about their story and I just know how that feels so Mr. George um, he was actually a Navy veteran and he the reason he has hearing loss is from being around all that loud machinery and equipment and noise um, on Social Security and I don't have no pension so it's pretty well I think I went like 15 or 20 years. Yeah, 15, yeah, 20 years maybe without hearing aids, you know. So we are very grateful that we could help him hear better with the hearing aids. I have a lot of doctor appointments because I have a lot of <laughs> at my age, you know. And now I could answer questions instead of asking the doctor, what'd you say? Now I'm able to communicate. That really makes me happy, you know, to help people like that. Miss Rebecca Voss. She was a great patient coming in, letting me know she had some medical issues that affected both her vision and her hearing. It's called Usher's 3. It's retinitis pigmentosis. What it does is it robs you of your peripheral vision and gradually hearing. Um, and she was familiar with hearing aids, but she just was unable to afford them. And it was hard. And they were like, it's okay, we got you, you know. I think it's one of the better jobs out there that I can say that I come to work every day and I love what I do. Thank you for the gift of sound. I appreciate it very much. It helped out my everyday life. Thank you so much for the gift of sound. I'm Melinda Schaefer from the Zephyr Hills office and I love giving the gift of sound. I am very proud to be the top provider for 2022 for the Miracle Air Foundation.